What's going guys? It's a Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about a new feature that has come out for Android 5.1 and specifically it's Android Factory Reset Protection and how this is going to affect your use of the device and how it can prevent or maybe detour people from stealing your new expensive Android devices. So I'm pretty happy about this, but you need to fully understand it, and that's what we're going to be talking about today, explaining Android Factory Reset Protection. So, that being said, let's go do this. So first, let me show you guys how to turn on Factory Reset Protection. So this is a new feature that is specific to Android 5.1 and above. So if your device has that, then you will be able to use this feature. And there's some benefits and some fallbacks to it as well. So what you're going to do is basically go into settings here. You're going to go to security. And right up here where it says screen lock, you're going to click on that. And then you're going to go ahead and pick a pin. Okay. So from here we'll get the pin and it says require pin to start device. Yes, this is very important. You want to select that and go ahead and hit continue. Go ahead and put in a pin. I'm just going to make one up really quickly. There you go, right down the center. That makes it easy. Continue and right down the center. Continue. Now we have our pin set up. Now you can really quickly go ahead and say, do you want notifications to be viewable from the lock screen? So show them, hide them, don't show notifications at all. I'm going to say hide sensitive uh, notification content like text messages and emails. So I'll go ahead and hit uh, done. And now you have set up very easily factory reset protection. Let me show you how this functions. So when you boot up your device, I'm going to go ahead and power it off. What's going to happen is normally if you just have a password set, it'll boot up, right? And then it'll go to your lock screen. You'll put in your password and you're in. Well, with factory reset protection, it works a little bit differently. And it does multiple things. So the first thing it does when you power it up, see if I can get it to power on. It's going to boot up just like normal. You know, your Google, your basic information. But when you get to the normal screen to start up and into your lock screen, it's going to come up with a password. So basically what that's doing is it's not even letting you get to the lock screen feature. So, you, so you're basically your operating system isn't even booted. See, this looks normal, right? And then, bam. All right, nobody can see any messages. Nothing will work here. Emergency calls will work, obviously, or your password. So I'll put my password in. And look, now it's going to go through another booting sequence, and then the Android operating system will start. And that's really important. That way, you know, if ADB for some reason is hooked up, you can't just boot it up, use ADB, and get in there and mess with stuff. Um, so it's a, it's a very good security feature to have it boot to the password even before it does anything else. Something else you might want to note, if you put a custom recovery on your device, like Twerp Recovery, this is the Nexus 6 here, and you go ahead and put that on there, if you set that password, you will have to put that password into Twerp Recovery for Twerp Recovery to function because it encrypts everything and I don't know, actually I'm not sure if it encrypts it but it needs it to be able to load the SD card, the internal SD card and use other features. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing boot up. Next thing what I want to show you is how this affects like, it, like the name implies it factory reset protection how it works if you go to factory reset your device. So to do that I'm gonna go ahead and power off and just show you. So if your device gets lost, stolen, something along these lines, and somebody gets it and they want to wipe it and then use it as their own phone, well, that's not cool, right? Well, this feature will keep them from doing that. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to go ahead and push volume down and power. This should boot me into bootloader mode, and it does. And then from this mode, all I got to do is scroll down to recovery, 
recovery mode and hit power to select that one. And this is going to boot me into stock Android recovery. Well, this guy, the dead Android guy. But to get in here from here, you're just going to hold power, then hit volume up. And there, now we are in recovery. So we're just going to scroll down here. The first option is reboot system now. Apply update from ADB. Wipe data factory reset. That's what we're going to do. So anybody gets this phone, they're like, I'm just going to wipe data factory reset it, and I got myself a phone, right? Because you have a password and they can't get into the operating system. They can't get into the system. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do it. So wipe data factory reset. And then scroll down to where it says yes. These are all no's. There it is, yes. And I'll go ahead and select that one with power. And right down here, it actually says in the bottom, I know this is hard to see, but it says uh, wiping data, formatting data, and then it says, should say formatting cache. So that's going to take a little bit. It does take a little bit on these phones to do this, especially on these Lollipop phones. Just with some of the security features, it just takes a little longer than others. So let's let this finish. Well, guys, after 15 minutes, felt like forever, um, we finally formatted our device. Uh, yeah, that just was really annoying. So I think what's going on, though, is maybe with Android 5.1, it actually like writes over your data with some garbage so that it's actually gone and versus where sometimes when you wipe something it just marks it as empty so it can be written over maybe this actually writes over completely it'd be like a you know like a full format on, on a on a drive or something i don't know it just took forever anyway we're going to reboot now so top one says reboot uh now so we'll hit power and this is going to reboot our device now you can see that yeah you did wipe data factor reset your device so what is this factory reset protection do you might ask right so that's what I'm gonna show you we're gonna see when it boots up what we're prompted with alright here is the Android screen here is the welcome screen looks very normal still right oh no problem haha ha, I got a device yeah right that's what the criminals gotta be thinking so I'm gonna skip this cause I don't have a sim in it don't worry about that I'm gonna set up my Wi-Fi really quickly alright that should uh, connect us up and checking connection. Normally it does a check for updates here, I think, also. So far, looking really good, right? And there's a software update. Um, just a sec. And put in your account. Now, if I put in an account that I don't have, let's see what happens. Because if I put in my account that I do have, it's going to work. That's how this basically functions. So I'm going to try to put in a, another account that hasn't been signed in on this device before and see if it kicks us out and protects us from the reset. So as you can see, it is not letting me... It, it, what happens is when I put in a email that is not one that's been on this device before, it just kicks me back to the Wi-Fi screen. We'll do it again. Let me, um, just just for giggles, so just be this last time, just one last quick test on it. So right here you can see it. This device has, this device was reset to continue sign in with a Google account that was previously synced to this device. And that is the block. So unless they have that Google account information, you cannot get into this device. So if somebody factory stats it, steals it, too bad, you can't use it. That's the beauty of it. Now I'm gonna sign in with a email that I know has worked on this device previously and I should get access. All right, so it's checking again with the new account and voila, now I'm not getting bumped back to the Wi-Fi screen. Boom, I can finish this. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip this and I want them to just ask me if I want to add another account. I'm going to skip that. Skip anyway. I'm going to skip my name. Oh, wait. Don't skip. What does this say? To prevent others from using your phone without your permissions, again, set that lock screen pin back up so that, again, you can protect anybody from factory setting your device and getting access. I'm going to skip it for right now, but that's where it's at. So don't skip. Yeah, skip anyway. Finish going through my setup and you are complete and you're good to go again. That is how this factory reset protection functions. Now, if you have it turned on and you want to turn it off, it's very simple. All you would have to do is come in here, 
go the same way you turned it on security this time in where it says swipe or where it said pin or whatever it says there just hit none and boom you just turned off factory set protection very simple very easy to use now because I'm a hacker with, with hacker I'm a hacker eh, hacker whatever I like Android anyway I'm gonna tell you the way to get around this the way you get around this feature is to go ahead and get the stock firmware for the device and flash it through that software. So for example, on a Nexus you'd use Fastboot and you'd flash the firmware over from bootloader mode. Um, Samsung you'd use something like Odin or Keys. Uh, Motorola you'd use RSD Lite and you'd flash over the firmware. By doing that you bypass these security features and you'll have access to the device like a brand new one. So anyway, that is the way to bypass it, get around it. Just want to let you guys know. So if you do end up booting or hacking your, or hacking into your device and something messes up and you're in a boot loop and you can't remember your passwords or some crazy thing happens that makes it so that this won't function for you or maybe you try to flash something to recovery and it didn't work but then you need recovery, if something goes crazy, you can still restore the device that way. Um, which is just really good to know. Um, that's going to be about it for me today, guys. I hope this was informative for you. Good information on this new security measure on Android 5.1 Lollipop. And we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.